Hi there, Lake Speed Jr. from Total Silk Piston Rings, along with my good buddy, Ed Keebler from Robber Manufacturing. All right, Ed, you know me. I love tribology. Yes, you do. So, we're going to let you guys in on a little bit of a secret project that Rottler and Total Seal are working on together. It's a tribology project. There's a little company down in San Antonio, Texas called Southwest Research Institute. They have a huge tribology lab. And one of the things that they have the ability to do is to take a cylinder, like, say, the one we have in here that we're going to hone today, and section that cylinder. And they take a section of a piston ring, and they can rub that piston ring against that cylinder, and they have an optical profilometer. Right? So we've got our little handy-dandy profilometer right here that we like to use, a little right. bit of tell you. Yep. Well, this is only a 2D. It only takes one little trace through one little area. Well, down there, they have a 3D profilometer. So what we're going to do today is get these cylinders home so they can section it so they can 3D profilometer those cylinders before they run their test. Then they're going to run this test, control temperature, control load. Then they're going to read 3D profilometer the cylinders once they're worn so we can measure the amount of wear that occurred on that cylinder. And we're going to throw them two different variables. One is going to be cylinder finish, right. which I want you to speak on in a minute. Sure. And then we're also going to give them two different ring coatings. So it's supposed to be a steel ring. We're going to run this one that's gas nitrided, and we're going to run one that's PVD coated. So steel ring, coated, uncoated, then we're going to run two different surface finishes. So talk about what we're going to do with this surface finish, Ed. Sure. What we're going to do is, is we're actually going to run a, what we call a single finish surface. Yep. Okay. Which is a lot of our customers still like, still run. And, and uh, you know, part of that reason is, is they're still running Molly rings. But, right. but it's, a, it, it's a relatively easy finish to obtain. It's 325, 400 grit diamond, two mm -hmm. size, followed by four to six strokes with a with a uh, brush. Okay. okay. Now, one thing you said to me the other day, a 325, 400 grit diamond is pretty much the equivalent of about a 280? Absolutely. Yeah, standard abrasive, abrasive yes. right? Yeah, that's the one thing is, is if you're switching from a standard abrasive to a diamond, you can't use the same grit sizes. The diamond, because it's a harder particle, doesn't fracture like a standard abrasive mm -hmm. does and therefore it leaves a for the same grit size leaves a rougher finish than a standard abrasive would so okay. typically if you're using a 280 grit standard abrasive mm -hmm. you're going to want a 325 400 grit diamond abrasive okay to, all right to obtain the same surface finish all right so we're going to do that single grit single finish grit. as one option yep what's the other option we're going to run and then we're going to get the option that 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 we see is has really been a game changer for, mm -hmm. for the industry and that's the plateau finish correct that's going in with a roughing abrasive of 170 grit okay and two size mm -hmm. and then we're going to top it off with a 600 grit cbn to obtain our rpk with the ring seeds perfect yeah so we're going to hold more we like oil. that by the way yes we yeah. that, that's the finish that we prefer at total seal for the steel rings is that plateau finish so this is going to be kind of a fun test. When we're going to get a little bit hone in the day, yep. get these finishes, we're going to check it with our profilometer to make sure that what we're sending them is what we typically see yep. from our process. Then they're going to do their part. And then at some point, we'll come back with another video, hopefully from Southwest Research, showing some of the testing. And cool. then the last video will be the final results. What did we learn? So stay tuned. We're going to do some honing, some checking. We'll be back with another video but hopefully some a little better information.